Good morning, this is Pastor Hudson, and I'm delighted that you're spending this few moments with me today as we talk about the book of Psalms, chapter 4, and verse number 3. It says, But know that the Lord has set him apart that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear him, hear when I call unto him. Today we're going to talk about the portion of the verse that says, But know that the Lord has set apart him that is godly for himself. It almost seems from the idea of the words set apart that God has favorites. He said, but no, as if he is telling someone, I'm going to share with you what some people don't seem to get. You think that you have control over me, but you don't. You think that what you say about me is more powerful about what, than what God says about me. So understand this. I'm not living my life to please you because you do not hold my destiny in your hands because you didn't have the power to bring me to where I am at today and you don't have the power to separate me from the one who brought me to this place. And you seem to think that you can stand in the place of God and are actually more powerful than he is. Perhaps it is good for the human race to be reminded from time to time that they are in fact human and have limited abilities. But God has the power to set apart, to distinguish, to separate, and to help people to be seen as wonderful. And there's a specific reason why God set this person apart, that he has distinguished them. He has called them wonderful and is according to God's pleasure. And it is for this reason, because they are godly. They are not a god but they are demonstrating the nature of the divine and there is something that the Lord sees and delights in and that is when we demonstrate and do and act like our Heavenly Father. Perhaps it's like when a parent has to sit down and take a deep breath when their children who still have yet to understand the adult world but they say things in a certain moment when they seem to have knowledge beyond their years. They either show undeserved kindness and deserved expressions of care, and then it almost seems as soon as they are done doing that, they become children again. But he said that God has delighted in this, faithful. Godly means to be faithful, to be kind, to be godly, to be a holy one, to be a saint, to be pious. It appears to me that when God does the separation, not us, Notice that it is God that does the separation. It usually occurs when those of the human race step up and demonstrate who he is and what he can do. So know this, according to God's knowledge, he delighted in a member of the human race. He delighted in them. He says of them what he said of Enoch before he was translated, and it is this, that Enoch had this testimony that he pleased God and that's where every one of us need to live so that we please God truly it is real to know that we would rather be the world against us and be in right relationship with God than to have God with against us and be in right relationship with the world the reason why God set apart him that is godly the reason why God brought Enoch to be with him, because he pleased God. So God brought him close, and he said to him, You would belong in my presence, and I want you to spend time in a secret place where I am. Ladies and gentlemen, it's God's job to set us apart, but it's our job to live our life so that we are pleasing to God. The old-timers used to say, Though none go with me, still I will follow. Though none go with me, still I will follow, and I won't turn back. I challenge you today, live your life in a way that pleases God, even if it displeases everybody else. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, I thank you for letting us know, God, that you don't have favorites, but what happens is, is you do have those who set their hearts upon you, and then you set your heart upon them, and then you want to spend time with them and bring them into a close fellowship with you. And I pray, Lord God, that you be with us this day. Help us, O oh God, our desire to become, to please you above all things. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. God bless you. Have a great day in Christ. We'll see you tomorrow. We conclude this devotion.
Have a Christ-filled day, and may you do everything you can to please God so that he will set you apart.